right, so I'm going to do a taste test on the emerald green okra. I guess we could eat this one here, or I'll eat the small one. This is already a little too big for me. That's already too big. And you can see down here is an absolutely enormous one right there. That's too big. It'll be good for seed. I'll keep the seed from it. But this plant, in general, here's what it looks like at the base. It's generally a green stalk. It didn't get very tall this year. And that's because okras generally don't grow very good this far north where I'm from anyway. So I don't usually have a lot of luck growing okra. But I do like to eat okra, so I do grow it from time to time. It's a timing thing. This is, the, this is one of those plants you really want to get out kind of early, but you definitely can't plant it before the first frost. These do not like cold weather at all. Now, the other ones seem to be doing pretty good, even though we're getting down into the temperatures in the uh, upper 30s already here in, uh, in Pennsylvania. It, this one's in the back is still doing good. It's thriving very well. You can see it's got some real huge okras on it. But we're doing a taste test review on the uh, green emerald okra today. So unfortunately, you can see that it died back or it's dying back now. This is because of the cold temperatures coming in. This particular variety does not like these cold temperatures. So um, I, I don't know what else to say about it other than it didn't like the colder temperatures. So I did manage to get a couple for next year, a couple of corn, a couple of uh, fruits off it for next year. So I get some fresh seed for it. Maybe it'll do better next year with the acclimatized pods. So let's pick one of these. I think this one looks pretty good. This is actually getting a little old too. I usually like to get them when they're really small like this. This is like generally the size that I like to get them. But let's uh, take a bite out of this thing and see what it tastes like. got a nice smooth flavor it has um, it does have its own taste it does have a taste of, a, of an okra I, I can't really describe the taste of okra other than you need to taste what okra tastes like in order to understand what I'm talking about but it does have that uh, taste of okra now one of the things about eating okra is that it's very mucilaginous it's like it, it make, gets really slimy in your mouth as you begin to chew it up so that's just something you're going to have to be used to when you're eating these things. If you're not used to that slimy effect, that might freak you out a little bit. Uh, it might gross you out, but it's not gross and it doesn't taste bad or anything. It's just it's a slimy feeling. It's, it's, it's like aloe vera gel in your mouth. It gets very, very slimy. But again, it, it's not bad tasting or anything like that. Now, okra is very, very good for you. For your, for your digestive tract, it coats your, your digestive system. It's also good for a lot of other things, very high in minerals and nutrients. It's a very good food to eat. So if you can grow okra, I would highly recommend you grow it and try to get as much of this into your system as you can. This is one of those plants that you really want to eat a lot of. There's nothing wrong with eating a lot of okras. You just need to be able to grow it. And like I say, up here up north they really don't grow very well up here you might get a few okras like i did but that's it that's all you're going to get i'm not really going to get too much more than this now if i had grown it in the right areas and had a really good head start in the beginning of the year and the end of the year then it, if it was still up in the in the 60s and 70s and 80s uh, we would be this would be doing a lot better i'd be seeing a lot more of these but this year was very short for me it just has that ochre taste. It's hard to explain what it is. It's got like a green flavor, but it, ochre has its own type of flavor. It's not unpleasant. Almost tastes like a flower, almost. Has has a, like a flower type of a taste. And I don't mean like a flower, like the, the perfume part of it. But like if you eat certain flowers, there's like a flavor to a flower, specifically to maybe the pollen in it. It kind of has that flavor a little bit. It's not bad. I actually like it. But you can pickle these. You can fry them. You can do a lot of things with these. I don't, like I say, I don't fool around too much with these because they don't really grow up here. And I don't really get a chance to really experiment with them. The ones that I, that I do manage to get to before, because these things right here, these big pods, when you see those pods get like that, 
they, that happens within a couple of days. It'll go from that little size of just eight to like this huge pod in a couple of days. So it happens very quickly. You need to get out here when they're just flowering and keep in, you know, keep in mind that you know you got to come out and eat your okras or else they're going to go to the pond. You can't eat them anymore. So, but yeah, that was just a quick look. Unfortunately, the leaves died on me here. Uh, it looks very much the same as any okra leaf like this one, except this this one seemed to be very sensitive to temperature and it died back. But I highly recommend okra if you've never eaten okra before or you aren't familiar with okra, definitely give it a go. You will definitely like okra. All right. So that was just a quick taste test and review on the emerald green okra. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.